Hi everyone, I'm Joanne with Newegg TV and I'm here to overview this Dolica Pro-Line Aluminum Tripod. Here is everything that comes in the box. Let's start off with the user guide first. Quite handy, just on one side. Shows you how to operate the stand, how to place the camera on there, all of that good stuff. Also includes an Allen wrench for you. If you ever need to tighten or loosen up the stand in the areas that need tightening or loosening. And also, they have included this bag for the tripod. Inside the bag, there is even a smaller zipper pocket for placing smaller items on the go and a strap to carry it. Now onto the actual tripod. It's made of aluminum and you even get these soft foam pads here for carrying it around. It's very comfortable to the touch. And here are the rubberized feet. You get three of them, of course, three legs. And if you twist them in, you also get these spikes here at the bottom. So if you are placing them on a surface that requires you to dig this in in order for more stability, that would be perfect. Now you also get three levels of adjustment for the legs. So just extends like this and like so. And once it is extended, just snap it back to lock it into place. Now I'm just going to go over the height. The max height for this is 1730 millimeters or 68 inches. The minimum height is 465 millimeters or 18.3 inches. And the folded height, which I will get to in just a second. Let me just lock this right back up. The folded height just like this is 640 millimeters or 25.2 inches. The weight is 1404 grams or 3.1 pounds, so a relatively lightweight. And you get a leg diameter of 23 millimeters or 0.9 inches, and the max load that it can handle is 6,000 grams or 13 pounds. So moving along from those specs, right now you can angle your feet about this much, but if you loosen this lock here, you can expand it and lock it into another position. Ha ha, there you go. Lots of flexibility with this tripod, and here is the center column, which I will go over, and this is the uh, hook, the weight hook, where you can go ahead and attach some weights to it if your camera is too heavy and you need to counterbalance it. So that is what that is for. You could also reverse this, but I will go over that in a moment. Let's move on up to adjust the height of this. Simply turn this piece counterclockwise and one moment. And there you go. Sorry, it's because these legs are firmly pressed together, but here we are. That's how you adjust the height, and of course, to tighten it once more. And here is the panoramic dial, so you can go ahead and shoot panorama, and the knob to loosen, oh, here it is, and tighten the tilt as well as the pan. So let me go ahead and tighten that right back up. Here up at the top is the button to release this plate, but you'll have to loosen it first by turning this knob counterclockwise. And let's go ahead and release this piece here, just like so, haha. -ha. And then you'll want to screw this piece into your camera, which I will show you in just a moment. One more thing is let's loosen up this tilt pan knob here real quick. And this will allow you to, oh wait, one moment, there we go. Adjust the ball head for vertical shot. Ta-da! And then of course you will tighten it once again using this knob right here. See how it's firmly in place. Now let me go ahead and attach a camera to this. We have a sample here. I'm just going to take this right here, match it up with the mounting hole here. And then go ahead and screw that into place. And you'll want to tighten the screw with either a coin or a flathead screwdriver. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. Ah, I think that should be pretty snug right there. And let's tighten this piece here. There we are. And then we go ahead and attach the camera. So just slide this into place. Now here, click, there it is. And then 
go ahead and secure with this knob right here. Aha, that feels good, very nice. The camera is securely on there. And a couple more things I'd like to go through is that you get a bubble level right here. Let's zoom in on that. So when you move the camera or the stand that it's on, the bubble in there will move too and you'll want this centered so you know that it's perfectly aligned. There's also a bubble level for the stand as well. So make sure you're, you have this completely straight by matching it the bubble to the center point. There's even a compass here so you know exactly where you are pointing. Very, very helpful. One last thing is that you will be able to convert this tripod for low angle shooting. First thing you need to do is loosen up this hook. Let's go ahead and do that. So once that has been removed, just take off this rubber piece and loosen up this piece here, this twist lock, and take this off and go ahead and mount it the other way, like this. And then tighten this spot here, attach your camera here, and boom, low shot angle. That wraps it up on this overview on the Dolica Proline Aluminum Tripod. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our new Egg YouTube channel as well as our other YouTube channels. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.